Season 17 of Apex Legends is here and it's upon us. What's going on guys? It's your boy, Sora Drumbum, and I'm here on the Sora Apex channel to break down to you the brand new changes here today with us in season 17. Now we're a couple of days into season 17. I've got to really sink some time and I think I have about 20 to 30 hours already done and played in season 17 so far. And I wanna to talk to you guys about the changes that came in with this new season and how they're gonna affect you and your games every single day. So here's a quick overview of all the gameplay changes that we got directly affecting gameplay in season seven of Apex Legends Arsenal. First, we got the brand new firing range, my personal favorite change to season 17 by far. Next, we have the brand new legend ballistic, the assault class legend ballistic. Third, we have the overhaul changes to the map world's edge. Fourth, we have the weapon mastery system. And fifth, we have the brand new changes to the ranked system. So first, the firing range has a brand new overhaul look to it. We got a little taste of it last season when they allowed us to change the movement of the dummies and get more information at the top of our screen. But now it's an overhaul brand new map and it's huge. It's ginormous. The things that you can do is so incredible. There are sections, there's a 1v1 pit section where you can invite your friends and then you can work on your 1v1s and get better at the game, get better at winning your fights. Um, there's a whole pit dedicated just to that area. There's a movement course area in the corner of the entire thing. There's zip lines everywhere, things for you to work on your movement. This is the first time in Apex Legends that the devs and the creators of Apex have given us direct input that they enjoy the fact that we use movement techniques and they want us to train them more in the firing range. There's also areas that are full fledged buildings that are there to help you learn how to fight and take fights on doorways and in windows, on staircases. It's so detailed. And my favorite part about it is that you don't even need a friend with you in the firing range to fight them to learn these things or to get better. You can use the dummies. So in the if you go to the customized range settings and scroll down to the dummy settings and go all the way down to the shooting tab, you can turn it all the way up from off, easy, medium, hard, and full combat. And my personal favorite is full combat. It's dummies going directly at you, strafing, turning multiple dummies at a time, all shooting you and giving you a combat simulation experience that is like the best aim trainer in the world. Next, we have the brand new legend, Ballistic. Ballistic is an assault class legend that has a crazy kit that's super, super powerful, specifically basing around team fights. His passive is called Sling. It allows you to carry a third weapon, but there's a, ca there's a caveat with that situation. The third weapon is completely naked. It has no attachments. It cannot get attachments, but you can use it as well. After playing Ballistic for some time, you re I realized that I don't really use my sling weapon too often unless I'm using his ultimate, which we'll get to in a second. But if you do use his sling weapon and you use it often, make sure to also carry ammo for that third weapon in your inventory. So you don't wanna just have ammo, ammo for your base two weapons, but you also wanna have a little bit of ammo, uh, especially if you're gonna use your sling weapon as that naked weapon. If you're gonna use that sling weapon, make sure you have a little ammo in there. Second, his tactical is called the Whistler. It's the smart, it's based off the smart pistol from the Titanfall series. So if you pull out the smart pistol and you ADS at an enemy, that enemy will be scanned, locked onto, and it'll shoot a projectile that sticks to the enemy, does 20 damage, and will also cause an overheating effect on that enemy with their weapon. And that weapon will do damage as well. My number one tip with his tactical is don't use it way before you engage. Use it during the fight. If you're in a 1v1 or 1v2 situation and you do a little bit of damage and you're shooting somebody, whip out the tactical in the middle of the fight, which you can shoot the tactical while shooting your main weapon at the same time. And what they don't even realize that they've been hit by it, they overheat their gun and do 30 flush damage immediately. And it changes the way of the fight and gives you the advantage big time. And lastly is his ultimate, Tempest. Tempest is the best thing to happen in team fights. It literally just super buffs your team around you. You get you and your teammates around you, you get infinite ammo, your weapon reload speed is uh faster, and your movement speed is faster. And the caveat, again, what, like we talked about earlier, the sling weapon for ballistic will be upgraded to a gold version of that weapon in a short amount of time. Now, my number one tip about the sling weapon ultimate combination is you wanna make sure that you have a gun that is used in a different manner than normal in your sling. So my favorite weapons to put in the sling are the Havoc because you get a turbocharged souped up Havoc, the Devotion for the same reason, a turbocharged souped up Devotion, or also the Rampage because when you are in your ultimate and you pull out the Rampage, the sling Rampage, the gold Rampage, it's automatically already charged up with the Thermite that you don't have to crank in it. So it's a super juiced weapon. Those are the three weapons that I would, I absolutely run 
uh, every time that I play Ballistic when using his Sling and his Ultimate. The next change is the Weapon Mastery System. So when you open up Apex and you're in the main lobby and you go to Loadout, you see that the, the Weapon Class System looks a little bit different. If you look on the right, it says your top, it gives you a list of your top three weapons and what level those weapons are. Each weapon has their all their statistics listed on the top left and their level. The more you use that, every weapon starting in Season 17 starts at the base level of zero. The more that you upgrade that weapon and it can go all the way up to level 100. Every I believe that every 20 tiers, you unlock like a trial and then you do that trial with that weapon gain some sort of reward for it and then get the next 20 tiers unlocked all the way up to level 100 you get new badges banners and other cosmetics coming on down the line that we haven't seen yet this gives you something to grind for for each weapon in the game and it's something that i think is really 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 fun pray me personally i'm trying to go for mastery wingman like that next we have the changes to world's edge there are some changes to world's edge that are really really uh interesting the main change is fragment fragment no longer is called fragment it's called monument so there's a giant apex legends o2 apex legends museum smack in the middle of what fragment used to be and it changed the landscape of the entire area it's definitely played different there's multiple buildings that are completely different the construction building that wraith mains like myself and hollow and forby and everybody else who loved that building so much has now moved to where lava city used to be and lava city is all is called stacks now so it switched up a little bit of world's edge the lighting is also different there's also little changes throughout the map like the fact that the lava is not lifted up you can't fall into the lava and float up and down and burn anymore you can walk across it it does take damage but you can walk across it and there's zip lines to help you up on each side and stuff like that there's a lot of different changes coming out world's edge i've only played world's edge a little bit because it hasn't been the ranked map for the first couple of days of rotation but i do know that the world's edge changes are going to be very very interesting especially for competitive apex and lastly and the most controversial is the brand new rank system so rp or ranked points is completely gone it's now ladder points every single match no matter what rank you are whether you're rookie or pred you're starting with a flat 35 lp match entry cost every single game but the value of each bonus will be adjusted based on match placements also so you get a slight bonus from kills you get a slight bonus from mmr which is your hidden rating which is how good and stacked your lobby is so say that i'm in plat but i'm a good player i'm having good games and i'm surrounded by a bunch of pred and master players or diamond players i'm gonna get a bigger boost for doing well in those lobbies versus gold and silver lobbies the thing that is very obvious with season 17's rank system is that placement matters overall so go out and try to win your games don't worry about dropping 10 kills 20 kills 30 kills 40 kills running it down all day try to win your games and you're gonna rank up it's as simple as that guys thank you so much for taking the time to check this out let me know what you think down below in the comments of season 17 of apex legends make sure to like and subscribe here and soar apex for more amazing apex content from gameplay like from cracked out players like lemonhead and hollow from hilariousness from people like drainilla and Loki ross and everything in between there's a lot of content coming right here on the soar apex channel so make sure to subscribe hit the like button and comment down below what else you want to see from us thank you guys so much i'm soar drum bum it's been a pleasure see y'all out there in season 17.